Well, hello, everyone. I hope you're having a great Friday. We're heading off into the weekend. And wow, I just I can't believe how close we are as, as June is basically almost over. And then it'll be July 4th in just about a week. So things are moving fast. Uh, it's been it's been an absolutely crazy year, and it continues to get crazier. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you all, and I we we reached out to all of you on our who subscribe to our our, our daily email. Um, of course, you can do that by heading out over to informedamerican.com and signing up with your email to get our daily newsletter. We we sent out a uh, a question to all of you in in that email about what you thought about the president suspending foreign worker visas for the rest of the year and uh before I got started I also just put this to uh to the Facebook group so I, I do want to talk a little bit um about some of your comments and so just to set the table here so a couple of days ago uh the president announced uh by uh, uh that that he was suspending foreign worker visas to the end of the year this includes uh H1B and L visas which uh, largely go to the tech industry uh H2 B, I know these numbers and letters are might be a little bit confusing, but H two B, which is uh, basically non agricultural seasonal workers, so uh, maybe people who would work at <clears throat> excuse me hotels and casinos, uh, that kind of thing. Which well, then, uh, you know, before whether or not right or wrong, um, if it's good, to, you know, maybe the idea of you know is it good to hire Americans? Well, there aren't a lot of hotels open, and there's just a, maybe a couple of casinos, so there really aren't a whole lot of jobs there. Uh, to begin with, and uh, also uh, the J-1 visa, uh, which is for largely researchers and professors and things like that. Now, these first ones we talked about, um, H-1B, H-2B, large corporations absolutely love these visas. They love foreign workers. They can't hire enough foreign workers. Uh, and there's one company that comes to mind, which you may may have heard this story a couple of years ago. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, the Disney Corporation, back in, I believe it was 2015, uh, there was a huge story, I think, in the New York Times about this. They had laid off 250 of their own tech workers and were replacing all of them with, with H-1B foreign labor. And, uh, and to add insult to injury, many of these laid off workers, uh, who had worked for, you know, for decades, uh, in some cases for, for Disney, they had to train their own replacements. Just absolutely humiliation. And, uh, wh- why do large companies like these? Because, well, uh, they can pay them lot. They can pay them less, and so it'll depress all wages across the board. And uh, they're not, you know, there's no loyalty there. You bring them in, do some work, and then they go away, kind of a thing. And so there's no, you're not building up a relationship with a with a worker who can who can perhaps have some seniority. Uh, it's, they just treat the workers as disposable entities. And uh, by the way. Um, as much as you might hear about the need for these kinds of workers, um, largely, I think there was a study from the Economic Policy Institute, uh, if, if that's correct, uh, most of the work that gets filled by H-1B uh, visa holders is basically entry-level stuff. It's stuff that we could be hiring and training Americans to do just as easy, but we don't. Uh, and so with 30 million, uh, over 30 million unemployed Americans right now, as the economy is struggling to get back on its feet, uh, <laughs> do we really need to be bringing in you know, thousands and thousands of thousands of foreign labor um, as instant and instead hire Americans? So we pose that question to you uh, in, in, the, in the email, in our newsletter. Uh, and so I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to go ahead and read your responses. So let's just start off uh, right at the top here with Jeffrey B. I think, it's, I think it's great to give Americans the opportunity to get these better jobs. It will help America. David A. says, I believe at first it will hurt the economy, uh, but given a few months, it will help drive wages up and make more work for Americans. Well, I think that's a great point because there will be a little bit of pain in the beginning probably uh, then because it's so used to having this pipeline of foreign workers coming in and that dries up. And now, wow, corporations, you might have to look around maybe in your own backyard or something and you might have to pay a little bit more. You know, there's no job. Because you've heard this, you know, uh, jobs Americans won't do. There's no job an American won't do. There's jobs that Americans won't do 
unless the wage is right. And you know, if you're not paying me enough, yeah, I won't do that. I won't, I won't, you know, I won't do something for, for pennies, but if you pay me enough, I'll do it. And I think most of us are like that. Uh, we got here, a reply here from William P. We have plenty of younger Americans to support the U S workforce. Keep them out for at least one year and see where the great USA stand. Yeah, would be just let's just how about we do this for well through next year? Well, we're doing it through this year rather. And if Trump wins re-election, I mean, maybe he'll extend it. Uh, but of course, if he doesn't, this is all over. By the way, um, you'll never see this again in your lifetime if Trump doesn't win, uh, and Biden will restart this in earnest. Uh, so. Anyway, we got a story. We got a one from here from Susan P. Uh, sorry, we have to think of Americans first and foremost. No, no one else seems to think or care about lower, middle, and upper class. Very depressing time. Uh, R V O G C says we need to hire Americans first and find easier ways to do some of these dreaded jobs that nobody wants to do anymore. Companies may not be able to make such big money as in the past, but they can manage it so they had enough to make it run smoothly, continue with the business, as well as treat the workers well so that they can make a living to raise families again. Uh, uh, yeah, great point there, uh, RV. And so what? You know, so corporations, so they'll be a little less, a little bit less profitable. Well, big deal i mean if it means you can hire an american and so that american can then um you know get married buy a home start a family that's way better right that, that that's a much greater good societal good than um you know a half a percent of a corporate profit so, uh we got so i definitely agree there uh thelma says i agree with president trump these foreign worker visas uh should be rescinded these jobs are in america and should be given to our american workers the president has said america first and he means it yeah i mean maybe Let's maybe let's let's take a look at reforming these what these visas are all about. I mean, it, it, let's make it so that if you truly can, and, and I think for H one B, they don't even have to prove that they couldn't find an American uh, to, to 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 do the job. As much as you may hear that, um, we got one from one here from uh, Bud H. He says, "I think all of the manufacturers of the United States that are in foreign countries should be brought back." To the United States. Yeah, I agree with that, bud. Uh, Clinton R. says, at one time, America was a producer. Now it's a consumer. We only have ourselves to blame by the hands of the greedy businessmen and politician. Yeah, absolutely. We should be We should be trying to, and, and I believe the president has been trying to do that, particularly with the trade war with China, make ourselves a producer nation again and hire Americans. That would be, wouldn't that just be a really good idea? <laughs> Doesn't that make a whole lot more sense? Uh, Vicky, Vicky says, I believe that is it is it is just it is not the right to import American workers from other countries and force employers we should force employers to hire US citizens to fill the vacancies as I believe we have more than enough capable citizens to fill these vacancies besides uh, imports uh, they well when these people come in they are they're based they she's basically saying also when these people come in there's an issue of raising rents raising housing prices that's true I mean you bring in how many thousands every year they have to live somewhere so demand for housing goes up which means rents can go up and in and, and to your point Vicky in the beginning what are you really saying well, what are we saying about our own our, our own our own Americans were really incapable of doing these things I mean the country that put a man on the moon can't find can't find a, a group of maybe you know new high school graduates or or maybe some college kids to to do some entry level programming for a business. It's it's just it's I find it impossible to believe that that's not the case. That we have to go out uh, to many many times going to countries pulling in labor from countries who who don't have very good economies. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Uh, Randy C says those industries are only worried about paying less than the minimum wage. If they hire Americans, and they would have to abide by federal wage laws. Yeah, I mean we do see a lot of this is about uh, suppressing the wage, keeping wages down. Helen uh, Helen Lamphere said this was from Facebook. Too bad, hire Americans. I don't care if these billion dollar companies like it or not. We are sick of being replaced by immigrants that come here and undercut the jobs. Pay more. And Linda Pitt says, that's the problem. Foreign workers work for a lot cheaper, so they get the jobs. Jerry Bates, oh, Jerry Bates, very frequent commenter. Jerry Bates says, go local, hire Americans. Agree, Jerry. Uh, Phil Svetz, this will be the last comment here. Phil Svetz says, less, war, less foreign workers, better for America. I agree, Phil. And I don't think we had one dissenting voice. <laughs> and uh and in responses to this question so i do appreciate you all uh replying and and uh 
Alicia, you all, you know, sharing your answers and me walking through them. I agree 100% with all of you about this. 100%. Uh, we should absolutely hire Americans, and I support uh, President Trump's decision to to suspend these foreign worker visas. So before I get out of here, I want to remind you uh, to head on over to informedamerican.com, as I did earlier, to get uh, real smart news in your inbox every single day by signing up with your email. Also, head on over to our YouTube page. Rodney Johnson, uh, the editor of Informed America, and I just... Uh, did the latest episode of Get Informed America, uh, which should be up on our YouTube page shortly. As a matter of fact, I think it is up now. Uh, head on over to youtube.com slash Big Impact Media to check out that episode as well as uh, tons of great content that we have on the page. So with that, have a great weekend and I'll see you next week.